It is the video being played around the world. Former President Donald Trump dropping to the ground after an assassination attempt. While he was only wounded, a rally goer was killed. This evening, he is expected to arrive in Milwaukee for the Republican National Convention. It starts tomorrow, and everyone will be watching with Trump set to accept the Republican nomination just days after the shooting. Good evening and thanks so much for watching. I'm Whitney Miller. Security will be very high for the convention and supporters for the former president are expected to be out in full force. Natalie Brand starts our coverage in Milwaukee. Former President Trump's supporters stood vigil outside his New Jersey golf club where he spent Sunday recovering as the investigation into his attempted assassination continues. Quite jovial, uh, just wants to get back at it. Trump says a bullet grazed his ear during the shooting at his Pennsylvania rally Saturday. Sunday on social media, he said he would not let the shooter prevent him from attending this week's Republican National Convention. He's set to arrive tonight. RNC delegates and volunteers shocked by the shooting say they will carry on. How do you think the tone will change this week? I think just like any situation where uh, there's an impact, an attack on the country, which we saw yesterday, um, regardless of what party you're with, I think Americans tend to unite. From the White House, President Biden says he spoke with Trump last night and also extends condolences to the family of the father who was killed. He was protecting his family from the bullets that were being fired. And he lost his life. God love him. There's no place in America for this kind of violence or any violence for that matter. The president says he ordered the Secret Service to review its RNC security plan. The Secret Service is working diligently with the Milwaukee Police Department, as well as all of our federal, state, and local partners to ensure a safe and secure convention. At least two dozen states have also sent officers to help patrol around the convention site. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Milwaukee. Yeah. And there is increased security outside the White House today as well. The Trump campaign also ordered its staff to stay away from the Washington, D.C. and West Palm Beach offices tomorrow. Well, we've been speaking with our local political analysts about how the assassination attempt will change the race to the White House. Ron Fauche says it's very hard to say at this point. He believes, however, that yesterday's shooting will strengthen former President Donald Trump's position. Uh, it will probably strengthen his position. It'll harden his supporters. And I expect you will see just an incredible uh, welcome and uh, an ovation for him when he appears before the convention this week. Meanwhile, we are learning more about the suspected gunman, 20-year-old Thomas Crooks. Federal agents were spotted in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, where he lives. Sources tell CBS News the gun Crooks used in the assassination attempt was legally purchased by and registered to his father. We've also learned security officials at the rally momentarily lost track of the gunman minutes before he opened fire. The governor of Pennsylvania spoke today referencing Cook. We have to remember that even in these times where there are real divisions, that we have to address those divisions through engagement in the political and civic process in a peaceful manner. Crook's political leanings are still unclear. Records show he was registered as a Republican voter, but previously made a $15 donation to a Democratic-aligned group.